What's up, everybody? It's Matt from the house. I'm here with Tony from Never Summer, and he's going to run us through the women's board ladder for the 22-23 season. Let's check these out. All right, so first up at 550, we have the Never Summer women's board that started it all and it stood the test of time because it's such a good board. We have the Infinity. So what are some of the key features on this thing and why is it so amazing? Well, we keep touching on versatility and our whole line is built on the versatility. You want a board that's capable of doing everything and then we pinpoint and make it a little more park friendly or a little more big mountain friendly. Cool. When the Infinity came out, it was our only women's board. So we wanted to make it capable. The women's market was growing. We're talking 2000, 2001, really long time ago in the snowboard world. So we wanted it park friendly. We wanted it big mountain capable, but for all around resort riding, this thing crushes everything, big or small. It's a great entry level board. It's not a super aggressive flex pattern. However, many of our team riders and really strong riders um, tend to stick with this board because it's super stable at high speeds too. So the versatility. Yeah, it's a pretty red board. And obviously it's got all those never summer staples. It's got the carbon laminates in the board. It also has that rocker in the middle with the camber and the nose and tail. Yep. So the cool thing is, is it does have that nice, easy catch free feel for those beginner riders but as you start to get better and even though like Tony was saying those advanced riders really do like it because it has that easy feel but when you're pushing on it that camber the carbon all of that stuff really pushes back and makes it feel like a stiffer board so it is super yeah. super versatile all mountain go anywhere do anything board all right and then there's no jump up to the women's proto slinger this is just a little bit more of a park focused ride yep. obviously still an all mountain go anywhere do anything board but if you're one of those girls that likes to ride park over 50% of the time. This is probably a little bit better option than the Infinity, but uh, what does this thing got in it that actually makes it so awesome and makes it so park and all mountain friendly? What we did is first it made it a true twin. Okay. And uh, we have a profile on this, has the shockwave profile, which has a little less rocker and more amplified elongated sections of camper. So it's a little more poppy, a little more snappy. Okay. Popping off of jumps and on the rails, you're gonna need a little more juice. Took a little of the dampening out so it's a little less damp and uh, heel side designated edge. So we have an asymmetric side cut. You're gonna have a little bit tighter heel cut and soft flex in the middle, you know, really park friendly. Awesome. So just that easy, easy feeling board that again, when you do need to rail on it, push on it a little bit more, it's gonna push back and it's gonna give you the feeling of that little bit stiffer board. But overall, just that nice, soft, easy, playful feel for riding the park all day long. All right, so jumping up to 590, we actually have taken the Proto and made a women's version of it. So obviously, if you got a board that's one of your best-selling boards, you got to have a version for the women. So what are we getting for those couple extra bucks jumping up to the Proto? Yeah, and the women's Protosynthesis also has the Shockwave profile. In the cambered section of the board, we have a Carbon Recluse weave in here. It's going to keep the cambered section of the board extra rigid. And in the center of the board, there's a dampening pad, just absorbing chatter and vibrations, make for a smoother ride underfoot. So you have a true twin, all mountain board that really park capable, uh, big mountain capable, and um, just for all around resort riding, big or small, it's gonna be very, very well. Awesome, so if you're one of those girls that maybe is the intermediate to advanced rider, and you do, you want one board that can ride the park, ride the powder, and everywhere in between, this is really gonna be your 100% go-to board. All right, and then next up, we have uh, the Shaper Series, which just comes over from the men's line. There's obviously a women's yeah. version of it as well. We have the Harpoon, and there's no price jump from the Protosynthesis, but uh, mainly just a little bit more shaping involved in this thing, just yeah. to give it a little bit different ride. For sure, we, it's from our Shaper Series, and has fusion profile throughout, so a mellow camber section here, an aggressive concentrated chunk of camber to give you the power in your tail. Elongated soft nose helps it float. Um, it's great free ride board, great all mountain board, and just extension of our women's lineup. We have a very extended women's lineup for all types of riding. When we offered this originally, it didn't have women's sizes, and there was enough girls out there saying, hey, where's ours? And when we uh, hear enough of you guys chattering that we need to make a board, we'll, we'll jump in there and get it going. 100%, and I 100% back it because this is actually one of my favorite boards of all time. 
time from Never Summer, and it is a super, super versatile board. And one thing that's good to touch on too is that if you actually go from contact point to contact point, it's actually a pretty twinned up board. It's not 100% twin, but it's very, very close. So when you are riding this on flat snow, that big, huge nose and that little tiny tail, they really don't come into play as much. So it actually feels more like a standard snowboard. Yeah. But when you get into that deep snow, you get that extra lift in the nose, you get that extra sink in the tail, and it really, really makes it a super, super versatile board. I actually spent a lot of time riding the park on this thing, and you'd be dumb, dumb surprised as to how well this thing rides in the park, even though it has a little bit more of that kind of traditional free ride look to it. All right, and then last up, again, no price jump from the Harpoon. We're going, we're staying at that 590, but we have the Lady FR. So this is just basically a little bit more of a free ride focused board. Definitely for those advanced riders, this has their triple camber on it. So it's not meant for somebody who's just tooling around the mountain. You need to be riding fast and hard, but yeah. what are some of the other key features on this board too? Uh, well, you touched on it. This is a very powerful board. It's a free ride, meant to be ridden one way, directional, meaning that it does better going one way down the hill. You can ride it switch, but it's um, very powerful. Got triple camber here, and under the base, we put the carbon recluse web, so you have the cambered section of the board's oh, yeah. gonna stay rigid. We added a little dampening pad in here to absorb vibrations and chatter. All the stuff that we put on our men's Proto FR um, goes across this Lady FR. So very aggressive free ride board. Awesome, and this thing is, it's a super, super fast board that is, again, meant to charge hard, dig trenches. It's more for those advanced riders. If you're just yeah. starting out, this board's probably gonna be a little bit much for you. It could be. But for those more advanced riders, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, you think of the bigger terrain, the Jacksons, the Big Skies, um, Tahoe, where we have big, steep hills. Um, yeah. This thing's gonna generate some power in that sort of terrain. All right, well, thanks for checking out the Women's Never Summer Ladder for the 22-23 season. If you've got any questions about the boards we talked about or any of the Never Summer boards at thehouse.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions, but most importantly, we want to make sure we get you into the right board for you and your riding style. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new Never Summer board no matter what your riding style is and get out and ride because any day riding is a good day riding.